Hello and welcome to an original. We try this production. Today I'll be offering my C++ tutorial number five, teaching you about string variables in C++. The compiler of my choice is WXDev C++. So yeah, let's get started. Now, as with all other variables, you need to have a way to an integer. A variable has to have a value, a name, and a type. In this case, we're using string variables. So what we can do, just type, to declare it, type in string. I know it doesn't highlight like the other, like the other ones do, but it is working. You do not need to worry. I know it doesn't get highlighted, but it does work. So let's do string my string. For example, Let's do my string equals. Now a string is just a bunch of characters, or a bunch of or a bunch of words, whatever you want to call it. To so help to put a value in a string, it has to be surrounded in double quotes. So let's hot turn red when you type in a double quote. Let's type in pi. And then it must end with a double quote, a semicolon, like always. So then let's see out my string. And we'll get the value of high when we when we look at the console. I'll show all the console at the end. So yeah. Now let's say we want to make another string. String A B C. Make A B C equal to A B C D E F G. Now what I'm going to do this time though, I'm going to see it out. See out A B C. Well, A, B, C. But this time, I want to put a bracket next to it, put a 2 in it, and another bracket. Now, what this does is, it takes the index, or the second character in this case, and sees it out to the console. But C++ is kind of weird, and it starts at 0 for some strange reason. So, in this case, what ABC does, it takes the value of ABC and sees out only the second index, as they call it, or the second character in the string. So in this case, since C++ is weird and starts out at 0, A is index number 0, B is index number 1, and C is index number 2. So this will see out the, only the character C. So this one will only see out the character C. So I'll show you that. It's called using brackets to access an individual character in a string. So yeah. So what else can we do? We also store it in other variables. Do also almost all the same things. You can change a character in a string also. So let's say I want to do string x. Let's do a equals a b c d. A, B, C, D, E, F. What I can do, I can do X. Then I can do the bracket again. Let's do 1. So let's do 2 again. Let's do another bracket. Wait, no, that's not right. That was never right. That was never right. Hold on. I'm sorry I'm making all these mistakes. I had my hand on the shift bracket. So what we can do is x2 equals, then we can, uh, x2 equals, then we can put a single quote, and we can change it to whatever letter we want. So I can select j, and change it to j. So it'll take the, the second index, which in this case is C again, and replace it with J. So it'll be A, B, J, D, E, F. So I'll see it out. So I'll see it out X so you can see it. I'm sorry for the error that happened. I apologize for that. So what else can you do with a string? Let's see. You can add on to a string. So let's say we have, 
let's use my string. Let's bring back my string. As you can see here, my string equals high. Let's say we want to add something onto it. Let's say my string plus equal, which means my string equals my changing the original value in a variable or adding on to it. So my string plus equals put a space here there. So it'll say hi there. So let's see out my string. And then when we see out my string, we'll get the value high and there. Because we added on to it. So yeah. You can also do that with characters also. You can do my string plus equals and then a character. So let's say I want to bring back string X. Or string ABC. Let's do ABC plus equals. We have ABC, D, E, F, G. For the character, H. See that out. A, B, C. I got N, O. So, yep, that's basically all the things we can do with strings. We can also add strings together. But that's probably obvious. You can add strings together. Add a string in a string constant. So yeah, pretty easy to understand. So this is going to retry this. Okay, so let me show you what the code looks like. Execute, compile, and run. Hold on. Okay, so the first time when we saw my string, we got the value of high. Then we took the individual character at index number two, which was character number C. And next, we change the individual character located at, located at index number two to J instead of C. So now we have A, B, G, A, D, E, F. Then we added on to a string. My string plus equals there. We got high there. Then we added on to a string with the character. So we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So this has been a retry production. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.